Hi, I'm Beth from Sew Country, and today's tutorial is going to be a little different than some of my other ones. What I'm doing is I got my very first order from Zombie Bunny, and I tried to order a couple things I hadn't worked with before, and so I'm doing a tutorial kind of talking about how I'm going to use them, and also I am doing a repeat tutorial. The pattern I'm going to be sewing up today is the Perfect Pouch from Fierce Kitten Studios. I did that tutorial a while back and I used traditional vinyl and a panel and it turned out great. I really liked it. But I wanted to showcase that pattern again. A couple reasons. I'm going to do it differently this time. So I'm going to be sewing it production style, which is a little bit of different pattern pieces and construction. But also I want to show how you can have a pattern and get the most out of it. I buy patterns because I can't make them. I just don't have that skill. So I'm so thankful for all the designers that do make patterns. But I also want to kind of help show that when you get a pattern, you can really get so much use out of it. So the money you spend can be put to good use. In this tutorial, I'm going to be sewing four different versions of this pattern, and I'm going to be doing it production style, so it'll be sewn quickly. These will be great gifts. I'm actually going to use them as kind of like little Easter gifts. I'm going to put candies and treats in there for some kids in my life and just have a really fun time with it. I may not show all the steps because one, we've already done this before, and two, it would take a really long time for me to show sewing four separate bags. First thing I want to talk about though is the materials I'm using. I am really excited about this material. This is the first time I've ever used this material. This is called holographic and I don't know if you can see on the camera but it actually has like kind of a metallic shimmer to it. It is really really beautiful. I have seen this with other sewists and I've been wanting to try it but here's the thing. It has crazy stretch to it. So you can get one layer and pull it this way pull it this way, it definitely has an awesome four-way stretch. Typically, us bag makers don't sew with a four-way stretch, so I had not grabbed this material before. I was a little nervous. I have worked with stretchy materials before, but it's a little tricky, so I wanted to just kind of splurge and have fun with it. I love the print, love the colors in it, so I thought, okay, I'm doing it. I have already sewn one thing with this print and I struggled a little. I did interface it. When we interface it, we take out that stretch. But what I didn't do was add enough of a kind of like a stabilizer to give it a little more support. So for this one, I'm using foam. I used a fusible foam. So I fused the lining in the exterior already on this and it took out all that stretch, made it very stable. If I had extra time, I would probably even quilt this. I think it'd be beautiful quilted, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to kind of go slow with it. So that is the holographic. I'm very excited to sew this up and see how it looks. The other things I got was I got a clear vinyl. It's a TPU, but it's kind of a little bit more structured than some of your other TPUs. So you can see it folds really well. It's going to be great. Definitely way more easier to work with than a PVC, but it's not printed. And so I was really excited to find this. I definitely will be buying more colors of this because you can use this in your materials to just give a unique look, but you can still see the print through. I really like that. I even debated on using this to cut out a slip pocket for this pattern. I think that'd be really good. I still may, I still may give in and do that before this pattern's over. We'll see. So this will be how I'm going to make this version. It will be this holographic for the base and then for the zipper gussets I'm actually going to use this clear vinyl. I'm not for sure how this is going to turn out. This pattern can be a complete flop but we'll do it together. For my other version I'm going to be using a printed TPU clear vinyl from Zombie Bunny same place and this will end up being the main panels whereas this one's going to be solid this will be the clear vinyl. So for the gusset, I'm using the same print, but I'm using a cotton woven. I just thought it'd be fun to kind of mix up the two and have clear vinyl on one, cotton on one, clear vinyl on this one, and then non-clear vinyl on that one, just to kind of showcase all the different ways. The other thing I want to show, because I said I was making four bags, these two will be orientated this way. 
spot two will be orientated this way. So the zipper will be at the top and will open. It'll be a longer bag. These other ones, the zipper will go around that wider edge and it'll be more of like perfect for pouches, hip bags, things like that. Since I'm experimenting and trying with both of these and I really don't know how they'll work out, I'm gonna keep things kind of minimal. I'm only gonna use one zipper pull on each of these instead of my typical two. So one zipper for each bag. Also because I don't know how it's gonna work out and I'm using production style, I get to save on a little bit of materials so that in case I mess up, I'm not wasting as much. The zipper panels, we're only going to use one clear vinyl zipper panel for this one. We're only going to use two for this one. What that means is that the zipper will attach to this panel instead of it being like more of a traditional zipper gusset where we have it on both sides. That's going to be some of the differences. So we're going to play around. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see how this bag turns out. And hopefully if you have this pattern already, and if you don't, maybe it'll inspire you to get it. But if you have this pattern already, it'll kind of give you new ways and new ideas to try to use it. So you're able to get the most out of your patterns. So you can be able to support the designers with a happy heart because you know you have so much potential whenever you do buy a pattern from someone. So the first thing we're going to do with this is I'm going to set all of these main panel pieces that I'm going to have. Let me just go over the pieces. I'll have two of the clear vinyl. And then for this one, like I said, I've already got the lining front and back attached with the fusible foam. I love to use my heat press whenever I attach these things. It just does such a great job. So that is those main pattern pieces. My zippers, of course, I'm using zippers from Amber from So Majestic. I pretty much always use her zippers. So let's grab out those zipper gusset pieces. I'm going to grab out all of them. For the clear vinyl, I have two. For the cotton woven, I have four. The clear vinyl, what I'm going to do is I will take my zipper tape and I'm just going to flip it and place it right sides together and this clear vinyl really doesn't have a right or wrong side, so you really can't mess that up too much. I'm just going to clip along there. That's all I have to do with these two. Both of these will be sewn the same way, even though at the end they'll be orientated differently on the back. So I will clip the other one exactly the same as I did this one. But for the cotton woven pieces, what I'll do is more of a traditional way we do a zipper gusset. Let's see, I want this one. I'm trying to see which prints I want to be my exteriors. I definitely want this to be a lining because it doesn't really have like a lot of characters on it. So I want that to be a lining. So let's start here. I have the lining right sides up. I'll take a zipper, place it on top right sides up. I'm going to clip it in place against that raw edge. And then what I'll do is I'll come back and add the exterior. Sometimes you'll see me in a video going slow and kind of sewing the lining onto the zipper first and then adding the exterior. That is my preference. But whenever I'm doing production style, when I'm making four bags here today, I just kind of go a little bit quicker. So I'll go ahead and take this lining. And the way this is going to attach is it's going to attach this way. So I have my zipper panel like this. This is going to be considered my exterior. So I'm going to place it right sides together with the zipper teeth. It will then be right sides together also with the lining zipper panel. Add those clips. And then I'll do this same thing with these other two zipper gussets and the other zipper. I'm going to sew all of the zipper gussets at once. All of them will be sewn with a seam allowance in the pattern. All of them will be back stitched when I start and stop. So the first thing I'll do is I'll take care of all of these zipper gusset panels. So I won't be showing the sewing on this. What I'll do is I'll sew these all off camera, then I'll come back and show you what I got, and then we'll talk about what we'll do next. Just make it a little bit of an easier video for you guys to watch and also an easier one to film. And I do have the original version of this where you can watch if you have a little bit of confusion as to how it's being sewn together. 
So now I have all four of these zipper panels sewn together. For the first two with the cotton woven, pretty simple. You're just going to pull those zipper panels wrong sides together and clip all the way down. What I will do then is I will take it over to the sewing machine, sew down the raw edge first, and then what I'll do is I will come back and top stitch about an eighth of an inch away from that folded edge where we just sewed and have it completely secured. I will do that to both of the cotton woven versions of the zipper panels. For the clear vinyl version, what we'll have to do is we will take that clear vinyl and push it up. When we top stitch, we'll make sure we top stitch about an eighth of an inch away from the folded edge we just sewed, but we'll also make sure we're keeping that seam allowance with the zipper tape pushed up and that we're sewing through it. Just so that way on the back, it's a clean and open finish for when we open and close our zipper. Otherwise, if it, we sewed it like this, the way it wants to go, we, our zipper would not be functional. So I'm going to do those steps for all four of these to finish the zipper panels. So the four zipper gussets are done. I went ahead and put the pulls on. And remember that this is going to be the part that's going to attach to that base. So we want the zipper pulls, or at least I do, closing to the left on all of them. So I made sure that I did that with all of these pieces. So now that everything's trimmed with the pulls on, the next thing to do is add that bottom gusset piece. Pretty simple for the clear vinyl especially. We're just gonna match up these two edges and sew with the seam allowance given in the pattern. Then I will pull these two pieces apart and top stitch on that bottom gusset piece just like I typically would. For this other end, you know, it's gonna leave that little gap here, but that's okay. We still wanna do it that way even though they don't fit normally. Match up those short edges. Add a few clips. So this is what it'll look like for the clear vinyl. Now, let's pull out the cotton woven. We'll work with one at a time, of course. Here is the exterior. Lay it right sides together with your zipper teeth. Clip those short edges in place. But on this one, we got to also add that lining. So take your lining, clip those short edges right sides together with the lining panel. It would be wrong sides with the zipper teeth. Again, we would sew here with the seam allowance given. And again, on this other short side, we're gonna do the same thing. Clip those in place. the exterior, and the lining. I will then, after I sew those short edges together, I will then flip this out, pull it together, and top stitch there on that bottom gusset piece. For this one, I will sew all the way around these raw edges of the bottom gusset to attach them, just like I did here at the zipper panel piece just so everything's all secure and so whenever I'm attaching it to the main panel it's easier for me. So I'm going to get all of the gussets prepared and ready and then we'll come back and do the next steps. I have finished all four gussets and they're ready to go. So the next thing I need to do is I need to mark the centers. I'm going to start by first marking the raw edge of the zipper and that top area because this is what we're going to attach actually to the front. The zipper will be attached to the front. So make your quarter marks on all of your gussets. If you have four like me, then you can make it on all four. Then we're going to pull out these pattern pieces here. We're going to make the quarter marks on these pieces. We're going to place the gusset right sides together with the front panel. So I've already got one of these clipped. Let me go ahead and pull out this piece. So for this one, I'm gonna place that top of the zipper, the center of the zipper right here on this top mark. Whenever I'm doing this one, since the print is orientated this way, the zipper, the middle part of the zipper will be up here. So either way, the exterior front top of the panel 
will be where that top center mark goes. It'll either be orientated the long way though, or the more oval way like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna clip all of the fronts to the gussets and then I'll come back and show them each to you so you kinda of understand how each of them looks and then I will sew them up. I have all four gussets attached to the front exteriors. Here is one that is the horizontal view with the clear vinyl, vertical view with clear vinyl, and then a clear vinyl one with the cotton woven gusset, and that is a vertical view, and the horizontal view. So these four are all going to be sewn the same way. I'm going to use the seam allowance in the pattern. I'm going to go slowly all the way around the gusset. I am choosing, because I'm doing these production style, I'm going to skip the binding. I know that I'm going to leave a little bit of a raw edge, but what I'm going to do is just kind of to trim. I will sew it around with the seam allowance and then I'll trim it off so it won't be that bad. And like I said, these are all going to be just gifts given to kids. And so I don't think it'll be too big of a problem to leave them unbound and it'll save me a little bit of time. So I'm going to go ahead and sew on this gusset and all these. I will then go ahead and add the other side of the gusset. For example, with this one, all you do, same thing, add that gusset around. That'll be it, everything will be done. So I'm gonna do all the gussets, finish everything up, and then when I come back on, I'll show you everything I have left. We'll talk about how the materials worked and how this pattern does in both the vertical style and with the holographic and a clear vinyl gusset. So I have all the packs finished. Definitely the easier ones are the ones with the cloth gusset, the cotton gusset, and the clear vinyl. Just because that gusset has more ability to kind of spread and give and you can manipulate it a little better with this one. Clear vinyl wasn't bad, honestly, and I think it's going to look fine when it turns out, but it was just a little trickier to sew around. It wasn't as easy as this one. This one's pretty simple. But definitely I would do either one of these. Again, no problems. I'm curious to see how they're all going to look because like I said, I did kind of go quick. I was just kind of having a little bit of fun. These are going to be little Easter gifts here at my house. And so I wanted to get a couple things put together quickly. So I maybe, maybe rushed it a little, but I really wanted to try this holographic vinyl. It's actually looking way better than I was afraid it would look. I probably will have to do, of course, some shaping, but... Overall, this is super cute, and to fill it with candy as a little like kind of Easter gift, it's going to be great. I'm going to go ahead and get my clips out that I use to shape things with. So I can put some clips right around here to kind of teach this the way I want it to lay. Especially since I don't have bonding on here, it's really important for me to kind of get it to smooth out the right way. I had originally planned on binding these and then the later it got, the more I was like, you know what? No, I'm not going to, I'm tired. So I'm gonna leave these clips in there, but you can see it looks really good. There's no problems with the shape. Everything's super cute. Love it. Inside, I don't think it looks that bad without the binding. Let's look at the inside. No problems there. So let's look at the other ones. I'll speed this part up so we can go through it kind of quickly. Oh, this is wonderful. The shape is perfect. No problems at all with the shape. Super quick, super easy. I really don't even feel like I'm going to need to do any shaping on this. I might just to be, you know, like a little careful with everything, but this one looks wonderful just immediately. Um, definitely would be willing to do some something like a handle for this, but I wouldn't want to put the handle down this low. I might would do my riveted snaps or something here on the sides. Yeah, I think I would do riveted snaps here for a crossbody. That is really cute. Love the way that looks. So definitely I like this one better. Nothing against the other one. It's just these are a little bit trickier. I feel like they don't they don't come together as easy. Not the holographic material. It did great. So definitely, if you want to try this holographic material, do it. 
Interface it with foam. A fusible foam is perfect for it. So I'm going to make another bag with that. I want to showcase this fabric a little bit more. So I think I want to make something else with it to show off that it can be used in bag making. But using clear vinyl for a gusset was just a slight bit tricky. And I'm thinking it's, you know, might give a little bit more of a harder time to lay properly. Not bad, just not perfect. Like, look at that corner. It's not as perfectly smooth as the other corners. Just because you're sewing plastic around. So these I definitely have to shape the bottoms of these. The other ones with just the cotton gusset, I definitely don't need to. They're just perfect right off the bat. So keep that in mind that if you do one like this, do plan to kind of use some clips to kind of help it lay the way you want to, maybe even overnight. I'll probably mine overnight like this, and it should be just fine then. Definitely no wrinkles on this, so interfacing the holographic with a fusible foam is a wonderful idea. I definitely will be using more of this. I love that sheen on it. It's so pretty, and it's very soft and silky feeling, so I love it. Last one. Ah, another perfect look. How beautiful that is, and I love using the clear vinyl with the same print in a cotton woven. That's I don't know. I really like that. I wonder if I could find if they have like more versions of the same print in the clear and the cotton because that is so cute. Looks so good. Just a little bit with the clips on. Look at how much better it looks. It definitely gives it the shape. Just clip a little bit and that vinyl kind of is kind of molded to the curves you want. So it's great. I really do like it. I think it'll be really cute in the pictures and filled with candy. These two turn out perfect without any shaping needed. And this one, I shaped it with the clips and it's looking great too. Might still need to do a little bit longer of a clip right there. But other than that, great, great job. The holographic was really fun to work with too. A huge fan of this order. Now I still have some stuff left, so I'm gonna be making more of this. So I'm gonna try to use up, I've got a half a yard of the holographic and a half a yard of the cotton woven and then a roll each of the printed and clear vinyl. So I'm going to try to use all of it. I'm really trying to challenge myself if I get something to try to use all of it. Not only to get my money's worth, but also so I'm not just storing stuff and just accumulating more. So I'll probably make two or three more things with this to really understand how this holographic works and everything I can do with these materials. So all of my materials are from Zombie Bunny. My um, zippers are, of course, from So Majestic. The pattern is Fierce Kitten Studios. It is the perfect pouch. And it really, it really did turn out perfect, even though I really put it through a challenge doing four with clear vinyl and the um, holographic vinyl. So even though I was kind of playing around with all those different things, it still turned out perfect. Love the prints, love the pattern. I think it's gonna be a fun gift. And so I'm really pleased with it. So thanks for watching. Kind of a different type of tutorial. One that really might not have been as informative as learning the steps. But maybe more just talking about the materials. And how you can use a pattern in ways to get the most out of the pattern. If you have any patterns you would like for me to sew. Or anything, any like techniques or any techniques you would want me to try, just let me know. Other than that, I hope you're able to sew some gifts today in your sewing room and definitely hope you're able to try some new materials so that you can see what other things you might like to sew with. Thank you so much and you have a great day.